Mr. Shimmelfinny's cat fluffing out around the block again? Three times? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You good old dog. <laughs> Wait, Sprocket, don't lie down. Look, I've finished it. We now have our very own computer. It's a wonderful system, Sprocket. 64 kilobytes in RAM and six peripheral slots on the motherboard. And we have a backup system just in case. Oh, and look at the software I have. Sort and file, inventory wizard, statistics, Boolean algebra, zombie attack. Zombie attack. Ooh. Chase the alien enemy zombies through outer space, Ooh. hurling flaming marshmallows. Ooh. Oh, yes, I Ooh. must say, Sprocket, it sounds quite a challenge. <laughs> oh, boy. Why does this always happen to me? Every time I have something planned, he pulls this silly stuff, and he doesn't even check with me first. Well, I'm not gonna take it anymore. What is this I hear about a picnic today? Well, that's right. We're all going down to Gala Cavern. Moki made a lot of sandwiches, and I'm packing them. Yeah, Gobo decided. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> well, my Uncle Matt left some really interesting maps of that area, so I thought we could turn it into a picnic. But I have a swim race today. Well, you bet. We'll miss you. But I love the yellow caverns. Oh, postpone your race. Why couldn't you postpone the picnic? Oh, gee, Ben, it's all decided. Be serious, Gobo. How come you get to decide all the time? Huh, Red? Well, you know Gobo acts as our leader. That's just the way it is. Gobo, just why is that? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. It just kind of happened. I mean, I suppose any one of us could be leader. Oh, good. I'll take the job. And here's my first decision as leader. The picnic is tomorrow. Aww. Hey, Red. Hey, let's be reasonable about this. Aww. Hey, Red. The picnic is today. Tomorrow. Hey, come back uh -oh. here. Oh, sounds like an argument. Argument? Nothing. It's an attempted coup. Hey, hey, Red. Just a minute now. Come on, I'm trying to tell you something. You know, leadership does take some special qualities. What's that supposed to mean? Well, only just that, well, a leader has to be strong and, and brave. I'm strong and brave. And dedicated. I'm dedicated. And calm and tactful. Who says I'm not calm and tactful? Boulder brain! Who's a boulder brain? You lump! Oh, 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 yes. oh, yes. yes. you, Hold it! You two shouldn't be fighting about who's going to be leader. Good grief, the very fabric of society is breaking down. I mean, it's only logical for me to be leader. <sighs> well, no, because my uncle traveling Matt taught me about so many things. So many things? Fairy tales, that's what he's taught you. That's untrue. For instance, he taught me that you have to think fast and take decisive action at times of crisis. Oh, and how did he do that? Well, uh, how about the time he met the mouth burners? That was a story. Yes, it's true. These creatures use strange-looking tubes to light fires inside their mouths. 
This must be an unpleasant and dangerous practice. But still, these bizarre creatures keep relighting their fires. It is obviously very unhealthy for them. Finally, I saw one of them light a fire that got out of control. I expected to be thanked profusely, but to tell you the truth, Bobo, mouth burners are an ungrateful lot. Quick and decisive action. That's my Uncle Matt. What a fraggle, eh? It's a fairy tale. It is not. Will you two stop arguing? Good heavens. It would take the trash heap to sort out this mess. Good idea. Yeah, we'll let her decide. Uh, well, well, I'll decide if we let her decide. I already decided that. No, you didn't. No. Oh, we're sorry, fellas. We'll be back later to eat up the mess. Good at sneaking. Come on. I feel this cowardice and paranoia. Come on, That's not bad for a first effort. You want to try, Sprocket? Okay, okay. Yeah, but don't expect too much from the first game, of course. You'll get better with practice, you know? That's a good start. Come 500 points. 900. 2,000. 5. 8,000 points? What a lot of nonsense. 107,000 points. You're challenging me to a match here, aren't you? Well, it's all a waste of time. You think I can't beat you, kid, don't you? You'll be sorry for this, Crockett. I'll mop the floor with you. Ah, oh, behold. Here comes my beautiful wife and my semi-beautiful son. Oh, no. That Gorg said he was going to give us to his son. And here comes his son. Why do you think his son likes Fraggles? Kobo, we don't taste good, do we? Oh, don't be silly, Boober. Still, I wonder what he wants with Fraggles. Oh, probably baked potatoes and mushroom gravy. And so, the young lad rubbed the lamp. And suddenly, a huge voice was heard saying, I am the genie of the lamp. What are you going on and on about, wife of my own? I'm telling Junior one of the great Gorgic myths. Yeah, it's a super duper one, Daddy. You see this young, handsome, brave, godlike Gorg? Like you. Like me. 
he finds his old lamp, see? And when he rubs it, a genie comes out, and he grants him his every wish! What a nonsense! Stuffing his head with marshmallows, I say. Junior, pick me some pumpkins and parsnips. I'm hungry. Come, my queen. The duties of the monarchy await. Oh, oh, uh, Junior. Yes? There was something I meant to tell you. He's remembered us. I'm too young to be fricassee. What was it now? Something I meant to give you. <sighs> He's forgotten us. Never mind. I'll remember sooner or later. Now pick those vegetables, boy. Uh, pumpkins and parsnips. Uh, hoeing and watering. Planning and harvesting. It's tough work being a prince. And to top it off, I, I think I'm coming down with a cold. Okay, we lift the basket and then we make a run for it. Gotta hand it to you, Gobo. That's a simple and direct plan. Why, thank you. But I've got a better one. You get up in the morning, try and have some fun, and then your stupid daddy ooh, tells you that you dum de 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 dum. You try and eat your breakfast, blowing bubble gum. And then your stupid mommy though tells you that you're dumb, they 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 dumb. You wanna catch a fraggle, catch it for your mom, and then your daddy gives you a chop that's really dumb, they dumb, they dumb, they dumb, dumb, they dumb, they dumb, they dumb. boy. This pumpkin knife is really dull. Not even a 
peak. Uh, he who lifts this basket will have his ears fall off. Oh, my goodness. His ears fall off. Oh, I promise I won't lift the basket. Good. Uh, do I get my wishes now? Wishes? Well, magic genies give wishes. Where am I? Oh, what do you say to that old leader of ours? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, what are your wishes? My wishes! I get my wishes! Oh, boy! Oh, let me see. Um, um, um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh... A new pumpkin knife. <laughs> oh, no, oh, oh, what else? Um, let me see. Oh, 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 oh. I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, um, uh, a pony would be nice. Oh, oh, what else? Oh, wishes, wishes, wishes. Uh, let me see. Uh, peace in the universe. Uh, chocolate gum dust for my daddy. Um, Say, uh, who are you talking to, son? Oh, oh, hi, daddy. You know what just happened? Oh, nothing. Yes, uh... You just say my brain is filled full of marshmallows. I, are you feeling all right, boy? Why, why, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, um, what can I do for you, Daddy? Well, I just remembered the big surprise I had for you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's hidden right under that bushel basket. Yes, then you know what's under that bushel basket? Well, of course. I'll lift it up and you can see for yourself. Don't lift that basket. But it'll be a big surprise. It won't be a surprise. I know what will happen. Your ears will fall off. I beg your pardon? Honest, they will. I know. Uh, very well. Now, I, your father, the king of the universe, yes. am about to lift that basket now. Stand aside! No! No! Get off that basket! Never! To keep my daddy's ears from falling off, I will sit on this basket forever! Say, you are a sick boy, son. This is serious. I better get your mother. I will never, ever, ever get off this basket. Basket. They, they, uh, 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 Fine piece of leadership. <laughs> there you go, Sprocket. Seven hundred thousand four hundred points. Pretty unbeatable, I should think. Oh, do you want to take a crack at it, eh? <laughs> As you please, Sprocket. But you can't beat me at this. Oh. Hello? Why, hello, Ned! <laughs> Actually, there is a... Just bought a whole computer. Right now, Sprocket is challenging me to a little game of the skill on it. <laughs> oh, zombie attack. You know the game? Well, I'm surprised. You got 800,700 points on it? I don't believe you, Shimmerfinny. Yes, of course. I accept the challenge. Any more ideas, boss? I'm not getting <gasps> off this basket till I die! <sighs> How long do you suppose Gorgs live? <laughs> Can I be the genie for a while? Be my guest. Junior! <gasps> Junior Gorg! I'm back. Is that you, Magic Genie? It is. Oh, your voice has changed. Uh, 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 two. You sound unwell, young Gorg. No, oh, it's just a cold. It sounds like Gorgliosis. 
What? Gorgliosis? What's Gorglia? Achoo! A breath disease. But never fear. Gorgliosis does not last long. You will sneeze only once more. Then I'll be cured? Then you'll be dead. What? Uh, 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 no, 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 uh, um, uh, oh, oh, uh, I don't want to sneeze. Oh, uh, 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 uh,
something interesting instead. Let's work on some Boolean algebra problem, or fix up a budget, or an inventory, or play Galaxy Pirate. You and your co-pilot can try to outrun the Venusian Warthog. We can play this together, Sprocket. 